have been with people that have had spiritual experiences before. And let me, let me tell you about one such case. This person was filled with fear. They were literally afraid of everything. They were afraid to move, afraid to leave their house, afraid to go to work, afraid of what might happen at work. It went on and on. In prayer, one night, this woman had a spiritual experience. Didn't last very long, she said. It only lasted maybe a couple milliseconds. But after that, she knew, without a doubt, that she was not alone. And that changed everything. She became a person that was fearless. Well, I pray for you this week that you too have a spiritual experience. And here's what I pray you will learn. You're not alone. It is impossible for you to be alone. Wherever you go, you are aware that God is with you and that God has your back and freely and fearlessly you will do what needs to be done. We're often most fearful when we feel alone and when we feel there's no one to whom we can turn for help and comfort. But my friend, if you ever feel alone or afraid, take heart in the knowledge that in any need you can turn to God and God is there. Even in your darkest hours, God is always with you to help you succeed. Wherever you go, whatever you do, God's love and God's help are with you. And as you focus your attention on thoughts of God rather than what is causing your fear, you will always feel an immediate sense of relief. Focusing your thought on God, you realize that even the strongest of our fears is cast out by divine love. And knowing this, we are free to open our minds and hearts to the wisdom and to the guidance that we need to accomplish any goal that we have before us. In the awareness of God's unfailing presence, we freely and fearlessly do what needs to be done by us. I pray that you have a week where you do not fear. I pray you have a week through spiritual experience that tells you God is with you and you're never alone. As it says in Genesis, fear not, for I am with you.